Okay, I'm back guys. I just got my wire for this iPhone and just look at this. It's just... Uh, hopefully you can see that. This is one messed up wire. I've had this since I first got the iPod. And it's completely messed up and I've had... I, I got that other wire and it was it just wouldn't work and it's always turning on and off. But for some reason this broken old one has just lasted forever. So I need to get another one. But they don't make them very tough. I mean... It's not like I've, you know, been using it for a tug of war or anything, but I don't know. So I just checked how long I've been doing this video for as well. I've already been speaking for 17 minutes. Wow. I'll try and cut it every 15 minutes or so so that I can, uh, I don't get any like render or video problems uh, using my recordings package. So, all right. So where were we? Martin Finch's iPod. Let's click play and I'm going to build it. Uh, and it already doesn't want to build. I think this is going to be a provisioning error, maybe. Uh, yeah, code signing error. There we go. So I need to fix that. Um, iPhone distribution. Yeah, so this is the old the old uh, developer provisioning profile that's listed in there. So I've got to change this somehow. Uh, Unity manages all of this, so I don't. I've not done this at all, really. <laughs> and there's two things is I don't get this project and target I, I'm not sure what that means I think it's like this is an iPhone and then you can have an iPad or you know another device down there I think that's what the target means I guess all right so I've got some code signing here uh, yeah that's fine hmm that seems fine okay so, why would that not work? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I want to know if this interesting is, if this video is interesting or not, guys. I'm really curious. I I do watch some videos where people just you know are, are going through like a process of, of building something or playing something, and it might appear mundane. It might just appear pretty boring to to um, you know on the surface but it's actually it's quite interesting to see people go through the process of, of doing you know whatever they do like making something like i watched the angry video game nerd <coughs> and i like the videos where he's just sort of talking and and chatting about things and it's not exciting or or dramatic like his main videos but it's something that i i enjoy watching so i'm just curious if you guys are finding this interesting or not please comment please Put this below if if it is or isn't and then it you know again it kind of allows me to focus these videos a, a lot uh, a lot more so i guess distribution yeah all right i think i think this is right but the, the cool thing is like when i do these videos is i feel like i'm working with with you guys i feel like i'm uh I feel like I, I'm having a conversation because it, it's it's strange to to think that I've never worked in a team developing mobile games. I, I previously worked in some game companies uh, like EA in Shanghai, and that that was great. But for the past, you know, almost wow, it's been nearly three years now that I've been sort of working on my own, and I've not worked face to face with other developers. I've never had a lead programmer looking over me or. I've worked with a team a little bit distributed, like when, when we were building Monster Mall and they were sort of spread out over the world, which is a great way to work. I really enjoyed that. Um, so it, it's when I do these videos, I, I do feel like uh, I, I'm actually chatting with you guys and, and building something together, you know, and, and I'm working in a team. So I really do enjoy these. Uh, I hope I can do more and more of them. And maybe I'll do one of those Google what are they called, the uh, broadcast things, Google Hangouts, that's it, where people can tune in at any time. That'll be really interesting to do, I think, because uh, I do enjoy it a lot. So, uh, But right now, I've, I've become so so much of a kind of like a, a one-man, in, not indie, yeah, indie, of course, but I've become so used to like working individually that going into a team now would feel very, very strange, you know. But uh, I'm starting to work with uh, with some other guys on on um, on 
building games. So that's going to be that's going to be great to sort of work overseas and cooperate with them. And we're going to be working together to to publish one of my source codes onto onto iPhone and Android stores. So I've already published the source code myself on my account. They're going to provide the artwork for me from their side, and we're, they're going to publish it on their account, and then we just do a 50-50 revenue split. So I'm really pleased that that, that process has kind of started now, and, and we're going to be cooperating. So uh, you guys know who you are. Hello, if you're watching the video, I hope you're doing well. So there you go. It's running. It's cool. Uh, I'm just going to click free play. I'll probably see a bunch of ads pop up here uh, in the game. But I'm not connected to VPN here, so it might not. Uh, and in fact, I've not got the values, the, the app IDs put in the game right now. So I don't think the ads will appear at the moment. But I'll try and do this so you guys can see. I'll go level one. And oh God, I'm I can't see through the mirror. Uh, well, OK, I'll just connect to these anyway and try to do it that way. And this is really hard to do backwards. And. I'm just going to connect these yellow ones and then the orange one. There you go. And that's the level. That's all it is. And then I can play the next level or I can play again. There you go. And there's the next level. And you can go to different size boards as well. You can also pay for hints in the game. So you can see there's a bunch of boards in there. And these puzzle games are great because anybody can play this type of game. And, you know, people will come back to them. There's a, there's a large size one there. Hope you guys can hear me, it's pretty loud outside. Why the hell this place is so loud? It's nuts, I don't get it. It's like a tiny village and it's like really fucking loud. Jesus. So anyway, there's the there's the uh, the larger ones as well. This is 14 by 14. Very difficult to play on an iPod because it's so small, but this is mainly for an iPad where you know uh, you're not gonna like oh geez, really hard. Okay, even my finger doesn't register on there too well. So, uh, but yeah, that's the game anyway. So that runs okay. And our, I think the first thing is, um, let me think, guys, let me think. I guess, why don't I follow through with that starter kit thing here, and then this will give me, yeah, so add network configuration is the first one. We've also got Flurry in there as well, which is great. Uh, and then we've got the in-app purchase items as well, so we've got to do that. And then we've got the reskinning, which is going to be should be fairly straightforward. So, um, hmm. so I'm just reading through this. So this is why I'm worried. I hope you don't find it too boring. I'm just sort of staring at this. You guys can read along with me, of course. Shop bundle identifier, product name. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Um, bundle identifier. Yeah, I've got to change that, haven't I? The bundle, I the bundle ID. Uh, where was that one? Somebody tell me. Ah. There it is, okay. Um, I'm going to call this conduct call bolts. Ah. Oh, that's slow, Jesus. Fuck no, it's dumb construction outside. It's like a Sunday, why are they doing that? Uh, we're set to universal, we're set to 4.3, that's cool for the deployment target. And um, this the name of this game is Clumsy. Clumsy. Dot pet, dot day, dot saga. I'm separating the words out here by each dot because I think I heard that it does affect the SEO a little bit, the search engine optimization or ASO app store optimization. Uh, so you can get a higher ranking because you're ranking individual words here. I don't know if that's true or not. I might have imagined that, but anyway, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just put these dots here. Um. Okay, and the name of the game as well, which is probably in the summary section, isn't it? It's probably here. Uh, because right now it's just called Jello, which is not what I want, obviously. I want to call it something else. 
info. Uh -huh. It's called flow here. Um, project name. Is it that one? Do you guys know? I wish someone could tell me. <laughs> That's why I should do this Google Hangout. <laughs> then you guys can tell me. Who knows? Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, we'll just call that clumsy pet. Because I think this is the icon name. This is uh, the, the the words that appear below the icon on, on the device. Uh, it can't be too long because it, it concatenates it. I think that's the word. And if it's too long, it'll just have the dot, 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 and then the first few characters. So I want to keep this kind of short. We'll see if that works or not. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to rename that, actually. Eek. Did I do that wrong? We'll find out in a moment. So anyway, let's just go into Chart Boost and let's get us some new app IDs, huh? Oh, this this might be useful for you guys who haven't used the Chart Boost before. How to get an app ID, and that should be a little bit useful. So let's go to Apps, uh, Add App. Oh, it's some good coffee. Not. Oh, it's terrible coffee. But it wakes me up. Ah! I don't know about everyone else, but I'm not a morning person at all. I am such a night person. I'm really a night owl. Uh, the mornings I'm just so slow. I don't. I don't want to do anything. It, it really takes me a lot of motivation to get up and do stuff. Uh, but that's that's just a habit that you build, I guess. The clumsy pet day saga. And I'm going to call this iOS on the end. I always put like the platform at the end. Very uh, just useful for identifying it inside of the chart boost portal. So clumsy pet day saga iOS portrait. You just click on that, and that's all I'm going to do is click done. And that's pretty much all I need to do for that one. You can add more uh, specific stuff in there if you want, but I'm not going to go over that right now. And I usually don't focus on that. Um, okay, campaigns, add campaign, publish in the network. Do you guys find it hard to get yourself motivated? I'm curious when you're doing development or games or marketing or SEO or anything anything in our business. Uh, it took me a while to get this habit. And so I'm just curious if anyone else is, is the same. I assume other people are the same, but I remember when I first started to do programming and game development, I was working in, in another company and then I went at home at night and I was determined to study and learn about how to build games. But it really took a lot of uh, push and motivation to do that I really just wanted to chill out and just play some Xbox or watch some movies or something I had to really really push myself to, to make make it happen and uh, I still get a little bit lazy sometimes as well uh, not as much now but it took me a long time to develop the habit of work and if I don't work every day now I really feel bad so anyway so I've put the name of the campaign I've just copied that in there from the uh, the app section and I've just found it down here I've selected the app here as you can see it's appeared all the other ones are crossed off which is fine and I just go down to the bottom and click save I should do a separate video on this on how to how to get chart boost up and running but since it's part of the developer diary you know I'll talk about it as well but I'll do a separate video uh, on this also so if I go back to the app section Go to the iOS tab and I can find Clumsy Pet Day Saga and I can find Publishing Campaigns is one. That's correct. So I, I use I always check this, make sure that this the publishing campaign that I've just added is connected to the app. And if I click on it here, I can get these details. There you go, kaboom, the app ID and the app signature. And I need to put this in the project. So I'll do that in just a second. <laughs> 